Good day, people. Today, I'll be reviewing the newly released DLC for Resident Evil 2 Remake, Leon in Lordran, Little for short. Having barely escaped with his life from the lab, Leon tried to quit the force and settle down with Claire Wong. Before they got married, however, Leon stepped into a wormhole that manifested itself in the living room, and he was transported to the land where the flow of time itself is convoluted, and the very fabric wavers, and the relations shift and obscure. Lordran, the land ravaged by a previously unknown strain of the T-Virus. Leon must persevere and get to the catacombs of Carthus at all costs, lest the portal close and he remains trapped in Lordran forever. His sanity slowly draining, his very soul fading until he is not but an empty husk, a hollow the preferred term for those afflicted with the virus. The Hollows are undead, but unlike the zombies in Raccoon City, they cannot die. Instead, they return to life each time they're killed, decaying further and further with each death, but never to a point where they're truly, truly dead. With the help of a feisty shrine maiden, he will gain strength. The rules in Lordran are different to those of the Raccoon City. With every hollow killed, Leon absorbs those souls and their memories, which can then be exchanged with the Shrine Maiden for body modifications such as stronger muscles, thicker skin, or higher intelligence. To play as Leon, you must become Leon yourself. Make friends with giants who will bombard your foes with their arrows. Go to battle with fat knights by your side and overcome the obstacles laid before you. Sharpen your swords, buy weed from shady merchants and drink German beverages. Gone are the green, red and purple herbs. In their place, you now have a healing potion called Estus and it can be upgraded by finding rare materials which are oftentimes hidden very well, like this one here out in the open and up for grabs by anybody with at least one functioning optic nerve. Other times, it may be guarded by a pack of rabid slugs. Just like in the main game, there are several boss encounters. Every one of them has a weakness, and exploiting it makes the fights a lot easier. For example, Treebeard here is worshipped among the relatively weak and infertile hollows in the undead settlement. The key to defeating him is to quite literally drain his balls. You see, his body is covered in ball sacks, and they are, understandably, his weak point. You'll need to cut them open and release the liquids contained therein if you hope to come out of this encounter on top. We also have Harry Potter gone hollow. He grew fond of oversized hats, perhaps to compensate for his smallish wand. But don't let him trick you into believing that he's packing a punch, for in actuality, his body is frail, and his only hope of killing you is by slipping you some drugs, causing you to hallucinate. Don't you panic just yet, Leon? The real Harry is easy to spot. You see, only his spells are purple colored. The illusions shoot blue spells, armed with your newfound knowledge, a sharp sword, and Leon's sexual charisma, Potter, won't stand a chance. I don't want to spoil every single boss fight for you, so let's leave it at that. Now, something for all you achievement chasers out there. Don't worry, Capcom's got you covered. Mr. Raccoons have been replaced by living crystals, some big, others small. But is size really that important? Yes, yes it is. Which is why the bigger the crystal, the better the reward for its shattering. While the little guys can somewhat satisfy your needs, nothing compares to the real deal. Killing said crystals yields fascinating rewards such as minerals and other rocks of various shapes and colors. And their use is even more exciting, for you can pawn them at any local shop to get money to satisfy your cravings for the devil's cabbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three.
too. Bring it to the phone. Snoop, doggy, dog, and Dr. Drake is at the dope. Ready to make an entrance. So back on up. Before I got the scrap up. Give me the microphone, puzzle, so I can bust like a bubble. Hopping in low face together, next you know you were trouble. Yeah, and it don't point. I think they in the mood for another one of those G hits. Cause they snap with a cheap thing. Back to low cap G, so the crazy That's low in the label, that's crazy. Unfadeable, so we can make this one up. Well, if it's good enough to get over the proper chunk, I take a small piece of some of that focus stuff. You know what I'm gonna get? The further you progress in the game, the more grotesque and dangerous the hollows become. Like this crab here. He may look insignificant, but... Okay, wrong example. Like these vicious rats, capable of tearing flesh right off you. Seriously though, these guys can go fuck themselves. Follow secret trails that lead to some exciting rewards. Kick people off ladders. Defeat chests, trick chests into fighting giant fiery hollows for you. Play catch and die. Die and fail, only to come back stronger. Collect yourself, collect your lost experience and defeat the terrors that bested you before. Capcom outdone themselves with new mechanics for this DLC. It's almost like a standalone game, so many things are different. You see, each time you fall in battle, you drop all the experience you have gathered so far. This serves as a motivating mechanism to do better, in order to retrieve that which you have lost. For if you don't make it and instead die again before recovering your experience, it disappears forever. Depending on your mental health and stability, this may or mayn't push you away from playing the game. Humans with weak resolve shouldn't play this game as it will only serve to diminish your self-worth. Having said that, I loved every second I spent playing this DLC. I cried and I laughed and after having reached the end, I felt stronger than ever before. Playing little made me a better man a better friend, and a more skillful lover. And most importantly, it made me completely fucking insane. Seeing as I've made this nonsensical video, I rate Leon and Lordran 5 Ada Wongs out of 3 Pontiff Sullivans. That is to say, it doesn't exist. I am delusional, and I need help urgently. Society. We're not here to start no trouble. We're living here to fight through the sex offender 